guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is Bukome BK Crown so guys we're gonna be checking out one of your recommendation video titled the miraculous Kaaba why pray towards the Kaaba well I don't know what Kaaba is no I'm a non-muslim so I can't wait to watch and understand this video and know what Kaaba is so let's watch guys From any point in the world, the direction facing the Kaaba is called Qibla and Muslims are expected to face Kaaba while performing Salah. For most of the people who don't know the wisdom behind the Holy Kaaba, it seems like Muslims are worshipping this cubic black house. That's why many of them ask the question, why a Muslim should prostrate towards a rocky house like the Hindus who are worshipping idols? Now what is the difference between Islam and other religions in this regard? In Islam, there is a rule that if someone does not know the direction of Qibla or he has no possibilities to verify it, then he can pray to any direction he thinks is correct. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, From this verse we can understand that the meaning of prostrating towards Kaaba is only to be united. Otherwise everywhere is belonging to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No Muslim ever worships the Kaaba when you offer salah. Kaaba is the Qibla. It is a direction. We Muslims, we believe in unity. Now when we offer salah, suppose you want to offer salah here. Some will say let's face north, some will say south, some will say east, some will say west. For unity, Allah says in the Quran Surah Baqarah, that wherever you are face towards the Kaaba so Kaaba is the Qibla it is the direction so we are facing in that direction but no one worships the Kaaba furthermore if yet you have doubts if you read the Hadith that's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari poem number 2 in the book of Hajj chapter 56 Hadith number 675 Hadith Allah be pleased with him near the second Caliph of Islam second Khalifa he said that this black stone pointing at Haji Aswat black stone it can neither benefit me it can neither harm me just because my prophet kissed it I'm kissing it this statement that this black stone can neither harm anyone nor benefit anyone is sufficient to prove that the Muslim don't worship the Kaaba furthermore at the time of the prophet there were Sahabas there were companions of the prophet who stood on the Kaaba and gave the Azan no idol worshipper will ever stand on the Kaaba and give the Azan. Proving that no Muslim ever worships the Kaaba, it's only the Qibla, it's a direction. Not only Salah towards the Kaaba, rather the circumambulation is also a sign of unity. If you look to the creation from the tiny world of quantum to the huge celestial bodies in the universe, from the very atom to the biggest stars and planets, they are all rotating and circumambulating around a certain axis in a counterclockwise direction. And this is exactly what the Muslims are doing around the Kaaba. So in Islam, it's an act of worship. It means in nature everything is worshipping the Almighty Creator, but not the body which is in the center of the circumambulation. This represents the unity in the whole creation. Beside the logical fact, there is a scientific reasoning about the Kaaba. When a person puts his head on the ground towards the Kaaba, the harmful charges would be released out of his body in a perfect manner, and it causes the body to balance its energy system. To know how it works, first you should know about the concept of the golden ratio. The golden ratio is a proportion of a longer distance to a shorter one, which is equal to phi constant, 1.618. This ratio is also called a divine proportion, because the Almighty Creator has used the very same proportion in a great number of events.
the golden mean in itself is an evidence of creation. If we apply this ratio on Earth, we will find out that the golden point of the globe is the city of Mecca. Whereas the golden point of Mecca is Holy Kaaba. So because it's the golden point of the globe, it is the strongest energetic field on Earth. يعني الأمور تتبع يعني مقاصدها مقاصدها يعني يعني إخفاء دعنا نقول إنه له دلالة مثلا له دلالة كبيرة جدا لسبب لأن هذا الـ 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 البيت العتيق يعني هم لما جم ولقوا فيها شعاع لما لقوا هذا الشعاع ابتدوا يركزوا الصورة فوجدوا إنه خارج من مكة وبالتركيز وجدوا إنه خارج من الكعبة for understanding how the golden mean provides an energetic field you can take the example of the galaxies or plants which emits the energy from the center point to the outer edges. Just like a nuclear which balances the energy system with the electrons which are rotating around it. It means they are taking the negative energies and giving the positive energies for a balancing purpose. وبالتالي عندما تطوف أنت تشحن معلش سبحان الله هي هذه حقيقة now the investigations show that every day our body collects electromagnetic charges from its surrounding which are harmful for us. And these charges concentrate to the forehead meaning the frontal lobe of the brain which causes depression, headache, laziness, mental pressure and even more dangerous problems. This forehead part of the brain is known as the frontal chakra throughout which the body takes positive and negative energy. It is observed that these harmful charges can be released by putting our head down on the ground. But for a better result, we should put the frontal chakra of our body in a direction towards the strongest energetic field of the earth, meaning the Kaaba. Dr. Andrew Newsberg studied the brainwave activity during the prayer. He found some direct impact on several brain locations. The benefits of prayer are incredible. Regular daily prayer helps the frontal lobe from shrinking with age, which is the part of the brain that regulates our speaking, reading and memory. Therefore, this helps to prevent memory loss in old ages, a perfect form of meditation which brings us to a state of tranquility. وهذا أثبت علميا أثبت علميا وبحث منشور وليس أخذ يعني صخور بازلتية من مكة بازلتية من مكة وشافوا المناطق اللي بتكون لنا الأمر إنه المتحف البريطاني فيه ثلاث شرايح من الحجر الأسود وقالوا هذا الحجر ليس من صخور المجموعة الشمسية آه. The latitude of the coordinates of Kaaba is 21 degrees in 25 minutes. The first verse that describes Kaaba is the verse 225. Could this mathematic harmony be a simple coincidence? The possibility of numbers depicted in the Quran with order number 114 rising until verse 286, which describe the Kaaba for the first time, has a chance of one in 100,000 for them to appear next to each other. Surah 2, verse 125. The part of the coordinates after the comma can be described in the form of minutes as well as in ratios of percentages. In order to handle the upcoming objections, when we look at the coordinates of Kaaba by changing them to percentage ratios, we come across the following verse. Surah 2, verse 142. Hence, no matter how we look at it, there is a sign in the verses that point to Kaaba 
and this could only be possible with the wisdom of God. Although there are scientific facts behind every command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but the Muslims should obey them without any reasoning. Because there is always a wisdom behind any order of the Creator that people cannot easily unlock the secret. But for us it is important to seek the satisfaction of our Creator. Wow, from the beginning of the video I was like, what was the meaning of Kaaba? Now I understand it. There was a particular time that I traveled and when we got to the stop, one of the stop, I noticed that one man actually went to one corner and was facing one direction and started praying. One thing about Muslims is that no matter where they find themselves, they find an avenue to pray. That's why they pray five times daily. And that's one thing I really respect about Muslims. They don't joke with their prayers. They time themselves and they, they even if they don't have the chance to to to, to pray in a very you know private place even inside the car they pray there was one muslim woman was sitting beside me and if she she was praying like almost every two, two hours three three hours she would just pray silently and you know there's a bit you guys used to pray and i was like wow this is amazing but mostly if they want to actually pray by buying down their head there's one you know focus there's one position they focus on that's why they said kaba is a means of people praying towards one direction that's how they do it wow miraculous kaba it was really interesting learning these things and how they pray and when it comes to their ramadan fasting to how they pray and everything it's amazing beautiful thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one stay blessed bye